Hello River Church, welcome back. Blessed Sunday to all of you and it's always so good to worship God and get all fired up for Him. Are you all ready for the message? For the book of Acts chapter 10, there was a God-fearing man gathered with him all his household to listen to the gospel preached by Jesus' disciple, Simon Peter. And this is what the man said to Peter. Now we are we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything the Lord has commanded you to tell us. So, and the result is eye opening. And there was a great transformation of the heart that took place at the man's household. And they all received Christ and there was a outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak in tongues. And this man is called Nias a well-respected Roman centurion officer. He and his household was converted to Christianity after hearing the gospel preached by Peter, whom the angels had instructed him to send, sent for Peter to speak at his place. Through the episode, we see God's love all people, and he does not play favorites, and he does not see the colors of the skin race, culture, or even the background. But he uses, he sees the heart, and he reveals to those who seek him earnestly. And yes, God sees the heart, and his spirit is given to all men and who believe in him, whether a Jew or a Gentile. But before I go on, please help me to do this. Click on the like and subscribe button below. Do hit the bell to get a new update of our latest sermon and share what you receive from God with someone and we aim to reach out to as many people out there who, who need to, the touch of, from God. I will thank you for doing so. Well, the title for today's sermon, God Works All Things Together. Do you realize that you we spent a lot of time trying to work things out such as solving a pro mathematic problems to a tough relationship in the family or in the community where we live and we work. Parents trying hard to work things out with their kids, husband and wife trying to work things out after a disagreement, an employer tries to work things out with the employee who, who, who is overworked, or even a teacher trying hard to teach the child how to do their, their solving, uh, mathematics solving problems and the list goes on and it's always different from each person. Well, there's, there's, there's time we succeeded, but there are times we fail to work things out. The result is not what we expect and we fail one time, then the second time and the third and we get frustrated and give up. Whether young or old, we are slow to acknowledge that we have limitations and we cannot be sure and foresee what is going to happen ahead. And very often we fail to learn and understand that God is at work all the time. Yes, God does hear our prayers and sees our heart and God knows what we did. And God created our innermost being and lead us together in our mother's womb. He knows everything about us. Psalm chapter 139 says this, You know when I sit and when I rise, and you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. God form us and He worked all things together for a purpose way before we were born. In Acts chapter 10, God has a special plan for Cornelius and He put all things together to bring salvation to Cornelius and his household. He, I pray that you are as eager as Cornelius to be in the presence of God and you are all ready to hear from God. If you are, Type in the chat saying, Yes, I am ready, God. Friends, you may or may not have a situation today, but you simply choose to believe 
God as you as you find it more secure to have God. Well, He is greater than yourself, and you can rely on on Him, and that's about it. And you do not um you do not have much interest in Him unless you need Him for some for some reason. And then for some of you, you may not even know exactly who God is, but you have heard or witnessed his, of, of the God of the Jews, of your friends, or of your colleague, or, your, or of your neighbor. And he is so powerful who create, created all things. He defeats other enemies, heals, he transforms life, and is loving. You may, may not know or care very much that Jesus is the key to heaven and he pardons your sin. I'm telling you today, God is working all things together to bring you the joy of salvation that no man or any being can. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. For some of you who are seeking God at the very lowest valley and you are lost and anxious about a lot of a lot of things happening right now in your life you have been praying and seeking after him i have good news for you as god hear all your prayers as he did to Cornelius, he is working all things together for good the word of god says in first chronicle chapter 28 verse verse 9 for the Lord researches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thought. And if you seek Him, He will be found by you. And in James uh, chapter 4, verse 8, Come near to God and He will come near to you. Not only that, in John chapter 10, verse 10, Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Here it is, to the fullness. Friends, to believe in God is to trust what He said from the Holy Bible, the Word of God. God is at work at all times, and you can never imagine how He does it. He aims, His aim is here to give life, to give it to the max with all His abundance. He has made the sacrifice for you on the cross. His blood is poured out for you so that you are set free from the bondage of sin, the sicknesses, the diseases. He rose from the dead after, on the third day to overcome death so that you can have eternal life with Him. God has taken the, very, the first move to look for us and He called us by name. God called out to Adam in Genesis chapter 9, uh, chapter 3, where are you? After he, they have sinned, God called out to Abraham at Genesis chapter 22. After he, he, has, after he has passed the test that proved that he feared God, and the Lord did, did provide a ram as a substitute, uh, a substitute sacrifice for Isaac, God also called Simon Peter in Luke chapter uh, 22. Jesus told Peter, even he will deny the Lord, but when he, but he also will strengthen the other believers afterwards. And this prophecy come to pass in the book of Acts. And there are many incidents that count of the account of God sending the angels to instruct his people what's that to take because he is at work even though we did not realize it i want you to i want you to tell to your family members or your friends who are watching together with you i want you to shout in the chat if you are god is at work god is at work amen while you are at peace and at rest you did not know what is going on, be sure that God is hearing your prayers and orchestrating His plan, manifesting His power to fulfill His very purpose that He called you for. The key to receive is, are you ready to listen? 
because he is about to work all things together like what he did to Cornelius and uses Peter to be his instrument to share the good news. To be ready, you have to do this. Actively seek God. In Acts chapter 10, verse 2 describes Cornelius is a devout man and one who feared God with all his household, who gave up generously to the people and prayed to God always. Many of us seek God in the hope to get a quick fix to get back to our normal life and what to what we want. We forget about Him again after we are on our feet and when we get what we wanted. But that is not that is what we want. It is not what God wants. We are making demands like a kid who has not grown up. Have you ever asked him? what he wanted from you. Have you sought him to understand his desire through the Bible? God and God has his ultimate plan to work things for your good. He is putting plans together for you. He's always wanted to instruct you, but you have no time and you are too busy. You trust in man's way and your knowledge more than him. Notice, Cornelius constantly spent time seeking God and praying always. He's, he's all eager and hungry to listen, after, to, to seek God's message. And he was instructed by God's angels. He immediately sent out his devout man to bring Peter without questioning. My friends, many of you um, out there who are watching you ought to put away your busyness. Whatever that robs you from spending time seeking God in prayer, whatever that robs you from reading the Word, whatever that robs you from the fellowship in the weekly live traps or even your Bible study groups, whatever that robs you from obeying Him in serving, you have, this, you have to decide to put away things that rob you of having time with Him and His people. Be active in seeking Him and get ready to hear from Him. God is always wanting to speak and instruct you as He did to Cornelius and his household. Ask the right question is my next important key things. Cornelius stared at the angels in fear and asked, What is it, Lord? Cornelius focus and quickly ask the right questions. What is it, Lord? That, trans that transformed his entire household, his whole life. He received from God's fullness of what he has to give. Instead of you telling him what he should be doing for you, or some of you like the habits of murmuring and complaining in your prayers, you are more concerned about getting to be heard than hearing from God. Why not ask Him, What is it that you call me, Lord? And be quiet, listen. Your next action is to jot down what God is pressed upon your heart as you read the scripture and pray. Decide and make up your mind. Act upon it quickly. God is directing your path as you ask the right question. What is it that you are call, calling me, Lord? In the situation at your work, in your relationship with your parents, or in a family that has some issues to work things on, to work things out, or in the, in, or in the search of your, 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 your studies and, and in your career. And the list varies from each person, and the list goes on. Ask the right question and let God instruct you. Write it down and commit to, to, set, um, to, to add on the instruction without delay. Remember, there is always the flesh and the enemy who is always working against you and, and God's plans for you. But in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, uh, 5 to 6 taught us to Trust in the Lord with all your heart 
and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. The last one is to recount your encounter with God. One of the most crucial actions we ought to take is to remember why you are doing what you are doing by recounting your initial encounter with God and His specific instructions to you. Do not lose sight of it by noting down in your, your, your devotion diary. Share your testimony with your leaders or your sales members and let them and let yourself uh, be accountable to them. If you lose focus with God and they will keep you in check and want you to come back to God's instruction. Cornelius recounts twice of his encounter. One was with his servant immediately right after he met the angels who instructed him what to do. The second account of his encounter was with Peter when he arrived at his place. Both Peter and Cornelius are not distracted by any Jewish tradition that prohibits a Jew's or having or to have any anything to do with the Gentiles, they went straight to to recount their encounter with God and what God instructed. You can imagine the excitement, the amazement as they listened to each other recount of their their encounter and how God brought them together. The best part is that they have created in the history of the church that eradicates the prejudice between the Jews and the Gentiles. And God works to bring salvation to the Gentiles and God works to prove that His sacrifice on the cross is for all and His Spirit also poured out to, on everyone who believe in Him. Are you ready to receive it? My friend, God has a huge plan, bigger than we can imagine. God is constantly at work to put things together for us. Be ready to receive it. Let's commit ourselves to be part of His master plan to actively seeking Him and, the, and to be sure to ask the right question and always recount your encounter with God to stay in focus for, of His purpose. Let me pray for all of us. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you are our omnipotent God and you transcend time and borders. There's nothing can restrict you from you carrying out your master plan as we wait for your coming. I pray for everyone watching online that we that they will start to commit and seek you actively and leading their household to the same to live godly life and they are willing to take your instruction like Peter to share the gospel to many people out there who are just like Cornelius and his household who are hungry and eager to listen to God's good news. Bless our week ahead in sharing Christ wherever we are. Let us live out our faith in boldness and courageously. In Jesus' name, Amen. And for you who has not received Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, God showed no favoritism and His blood is poured out for you and for all who call upon His name. May I invite you to accept Christ and let Him rule and guide you. You may follow me after in this short prayer to accept the Lord into your life and let Him fill your heart with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Dear God, thank you for your message. I want to receive Jesus as my Savior and I and know you more and more. And I believe you have died on the cross and paid the full price for my sin and you have died and rose again on the third days, defeating death to bring me eternal life. 
I am a child of God and, I, and my sin is forgiven. Teach me and guide me in the word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God. We want to keep in touch with you and so please leave us your contact via email and click the link below to find out more about us, our Life Tribes Fellowship and, and the devotion material we got. Let's do devotion together. i see you again next Sunday online. Please share and invite someone to join us. Let's go back to our worship with the next songs. <laughs> 